Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in my capacity as chair of the sixth session of UNICDAT's Intergovernmental Group of Experts on E-Commerce and the Digital Economy, I am pleased to present the discussions of that session on the topic which had been decided by member states, namely how to make data work for the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Data-driven digital technologies for development often felt like a race between ever-growing problems and ever more powerful technologies. When world leaders approved in 20, the 2030 Agenda in 2015, the word digital has been mentioned only once in response to the need to bridge the digital divide. Since then, advancement in a data-driven digital economy have accelerated, including through the spread of 5G, the growing member, member, number of Internet of Things devices, and the greater use of artificial intelligence. The real problem was not the unavailability of technologies, but rather its inaccessibility, especially in the global south. The world needed effective digital governance for promoting the responsible and ethical use of digital technologies and data, protecting individual rights, and ensuring that the benefits of digitalization are accessible to all. We need a global effort that is multi-sectoral and multi-stakeholder and builds on existing initiative in the United Nations and beyond. Following engaged discussions, over three days, member states and other stakeholders discussed key issues raising from data and cross-border data flows for developing countries. In this context, discussions focused on policy options at both national and international policies, emphasizing the question of how to shape a digital economy in which gains can be shared equitably and sustainably. Particular attentions, attention was given to the need for multidimensional and multi-stakeholder treatment of data governance initiative to facilitate globally coordinated solutions. Importantly, delegates of the group of experts put forward a set of agreed policy recommendations let me highlight some of key points stressed by member states in their agreed policy recommendation. First, they noted with concern that the digital and data divides have widened in recent years, while progress, hampered by the impacts of coronavirus disease, pandemic, climate change, rising debt and conflicts, has deteriorated with respect to sustainable development targets, such as those in relation to poverty, food insecurity, the trade share of the least developed countries, immunization coverage and employment. Second, they call on governments and other stakeholders to collaborate on inclusive global governance of data using contributions from international organizations, including the United Nations, and to find common ground for data to work for people and the planet, ensuring no one is left behind, considering both economic and non-economic implications and noting the ongoing consultations on the Global Digital Compact. And third, they also called on the international community to strengthen its support to developing countries most in need, especially given the inequalities and additional strains that interdependent crises have placed on public finance, and to increase the resources available to them to build their capacities to meaningfully participate in and benefit from data and the digital economy. I hope that these and other recommendations from the UNICTAD and their governmental group of experts on e-commerce and the digital economy can serve as valuable inputs to the discussion development related to data for development and at the Commission on Science and Technology for Development. This is a shortage of truly inclusive international fora where developed and developing countries can engage 
in substantive policy-oriented discussions on the topic of data and in which its development dimension is addressed in full. I am encouraged that the CSTD can take up this question in its program of work and I look forward to fruitful discussions. Thank you for your attention.